Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody's had a wonderful day so far today. It's a beautiful one here in our part of Arkansas. Yes. No clouds in the sky. Man. Br the birds are singing. Don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, the birds are chirping nicely. <sighs> well, you're sitting in the area where I've been doing the work for the last couple days. <laughs> This is going to be the new area where I'm clearing all out over here to be running the new fence. And I tell you what, I have been hard at it these last couple days, except for yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, we took a day off. It was a, it was a deserving day off. Yeah, it was nice to just do yeah. without recording. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did we did record a little DWD yesterday. Yeah, but on the way uh, to Mount Magazine Lodge for lunch. Yeah. And that was a good time. What uh what did you have for lunch yesterday? I had some stuffed mushrooms. They were very good, so I recommend those if you go there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also had their coconut fried shrimp. It was pretty good. Yeah, I think it was a coconut pina colada fried yeah. shrimp. Because yeah. they had like a little pina colada dipping Dip. sauce. Yeah, but it was yeah. really good. Um, we also got some cheese curds. Yeah, that was pretty the, good. The Wisconsin cheese curds, and I got um, I just got the, I think it was called like the Mount Magazine cheeseburger or something like that, mm -hmm. or the Lodge burger or, or whatever. Um, just I wanted to try it. You know what I'm saying? You always, well, myself, I judge a place often on how their burger is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. got to have a good burger. Got to have a good burger. <laughs> Before I drop $32 for a 12-ounce ribeye, I'm going to try the burger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. We, but it's uh, a good day. Yeah. I did, uh, I did kind of drop the ball a little bit. I should have called up there first, and I would have found out that they had a Valentine's dinner special, uh, which sounded really appetizing, uh, and I would have just done a di dinner. But instead, you know, I'm very... Uh, sporadic and spur of the moment and I was like I got an idea we're gonna surprise Lissa take her to Mount Magazine for lunch let's look at some views <laughs> and it was nice it was it was nice it was overlooking the lake and everything like that and we could almost see the road that all the way you know if if you know where to look you can almost see where our house is yeah that's pretty cool it's it's awesome and that was the first time me and you actually ate at the restaurant together. Yeah, well, that was the first time I've eaten yeah. at the restaurant at all. <laughs> it um, it was good. the The food was very good. Um, the price was to be expected. I mean, it is a lodge at you know a, a tourist area, so <laughs> it is you know you're gonna you're gonna drop a shiny nickel if you go in there. But you do get a lot. But yeah, it was a, a good portion. It was a good amount, um, or uh, it was good quality, good portion, and amazing views i mean you're not going to get the view that high anywhere else uh in america in between the appalachian mountains and, right. and the rocky mountains <laughs> so in between those two mountain ranges we were eating lunch in the highest place in america yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice memory the kids also had a really good valentine's day yesterday too yep uncle david picked them up from school yesterday and Yep, took them to, uh, out for uh, like a little ice cream or uh, I think they went to Sonic. Yeah, yeah got some ice cream. Got something to snack on up there. They surprised, he surprised them with some candy. and. Yep, Serenity got a, well, Jacob and Talon got a huge bag of candy, huge bag. Yeah. And uh, he bought Serenity like a stuffed animal with a little blanket and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, and lollipops for yeah. her, her Valentine's party at school. Yeah. He brought lollipops. And uh, and you and I each got him a, a little stuffed animal also. Yep, yep. So it was a good day all, all in all. Yeah. Back to it though. Back to the grind. <laughs> we wanted to sit out here and show you guys the progress though. I'll give. Let me. Uh, I'll back you up a little bit and kind of do a little pan. <laughs> give you a little perspective. Oop! Here we go. One, two. Hut! Back it all the way up. Woo. All right. So you are now pretty much under the carport. Let me show you. You're under the carport. Right here at the edge. <laughs> so starting right here at the big pine tree. All that right there has already been cleared. 
And I'm only going so far over here to the left. All this area right here is what I'm going to be focusing on today. But all, all this right here where Alyssa is used to look like that in the back back there. It was really overgrown. I've cut down a bunch of little bitty trees. And we're going to be, these are some of the trees I cut down already. I'm going to be picking all this stuff up, clearing all that up, and getting it going. There you are. <laughs> Welcome back. Whoop. If I can, there it is. <clears throat> But I've been working. <laughs> I've been out here will, uh, wielding uh, the chainsaw and the the loppers. We call them the snips. The snips. <laughs> the snips. I tell Lisa to go get the loppers. She might not know what I mean. <laughs> if I tell her to go get the snips, we know we're going to be snipping. <laughs> Lisa's actually going to be working with me today. Um, the reason she hasn't been working with me the first two days was the first day I started out here, she was actually making her crafty meditation. Yep. And if you guys haven't seen that, go over to Lissa's Crafty Meditation. And if you haven't subscribed, give her a subscribe. She has a new video out. She crafted a Valentine um, vase and Valentine's wreath uh, that you can hang up. And it's uh, it was really, really good job. Thanks. And these crafts I do are real simple, guys. It's I don't do like the real hard in-depth kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Although, if you did, I'm sure you could do it. Well, thank I'm you. I'm sure you could. Thank you. <laughs> I know I'm excited to get this area done because, um, unfortunately, the dogs still can't get along. And it's not just, uh, it's not both of them. Uh, Halo is actually a good boy. He, uh, let's say he has had the opportunity to get over near Odin, and he chose not to. But Odin is still growling at him. Yeah. So when we build this area, we are going to build it in mine with uh, splitting it down the middle. I'm also going to be building a really nice uh, doghouse for them that's going to be pretty large. Uh, so and we can split it down the middle. And we're going to split it down the middle also, yep. yep. And they are getting fixed, guys. That's at the end of the month, so it's coming up. Yep. Probably, uh, yeah, next week maybe. Yep. So we don't know if that's going to help. It might help. It might not. We're just gonna have. We're just gonna. Yeah, we're gonna take some precaution. Yeah. Anyway, so. I don't know. I'm just real sad. I'm real sad that we can't. You know, we're. It's never gonna be the same again. You know, this summer. You know, we can't just take both the dogs into the lake, throw them in the back of the truck, and let's go to the lake. You know. Right. We're gonna have to do it one at a time. Yeah. One day, one dog. One day, one dog. You know. Yeah. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah. But. Yeah. Unless we would have to take two different vehicles. And load them up in a chair. And then we would have to worry about them. Oh, then, like. Well, we would have to keep them apart. Yeah. It'd be a yeah. lot of work. Yeah. It'd be a lot of work. Thanks, Odin. Thanks a lot, Odin. <laughs> Dang. But like, we're uh, preparing for whatever, so. Yep. yep. We um, will also be gathering some more water today from the creek. Mm -hmm. If you guys missed that, we have. Uh, stopped going to get water from Uncle David's. We are no longer using come on homesteading well. <laughs> For the time being. I don't... Because the creek is only seasonal, guys, so it's not like it, it doesn't run constantly. Yeah. It's just a, for... I don't I don't foresee us needing to use his well anymore. Anymore. The creek will be here for, what, June? It was here till June last year, so... May at least till the end of May, you know what I'm saying? So March, April, May, we got three months to figure out water. And we definitely want to do rainwater catchment, you know? Yeah. So it is gonna rain. And I feel like if we can get if we can't get one giant uh tank, you know what I'm saying? If we can even get a couple of more of those, you know, and, and like line them up. And like tap them together and stuff like that. I don't see any reason why we would have to use come on homesteading well anymore. Although we do, uh, we have started taking steps uh, to selling our property in Florida. So we are going to be getting a, a chunk for that, you know. Um, 
but if we don't go ahead and and purchase and get all the well done you know at one time at least we'll have something saved up to go towards a well you know and then maybe we could buy one of those 10,000 gallon barrels you know mm -hmm. i don't know michael's been thinking guys my brain's been spinning guys so i figure on two totes two water totes one water tote is 275 gallons so two of them is 550 gallons okay so we're using two of them in about a month right that at least that's that's what my mind is doing so two of them a month so a thousand gallons a month call it so that's 12,000 gallons a year conserving water if we add rainwater on top of that and pulling from the creek on top of that one ten thousand barrel can last us almost a year so we would only need to refill it one time and that's twice you know what i'm saying i've been thinking guys my brain's been spinning i really want to get one of those big giant black ten thousand gallon barrels you know <laughs> i that's what i want to do and set up this extravagant rainwater catchment system to where we can just catch rainwater and not even have to pull from the creek but for whatever reason let's say we don't get the rainwater we can still pull from the creek if needed in the wet season you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then just filter that water or have the filtration after the catchment you know yeah i don't know that's my that's where my brain's been spinning yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think do you think that um that it is something that we can do i mean do you think it's something that's establishable i'm pretty sure there's other channels out there um, i know a lot of you guys have sent me links to other channels and they're exclusively rainwater right so i don't yeah. see a reason why let's say we get two of the ten thousand gallons you know what i'm saying like one over here and one over there uh i mean twenty thousand gallons of water in a year I don't, I don't know how much you use, but we're not using that much. I don't know. I'm excited. I know today, 100% before I shut it down, this will be cleared out. I'm not going to stop today. I'm going to put forth effort into it and really get it done. My goal is before next week starts, I want to have at least a post in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm pumped up and ready to go. It's a beautiful day. I'm almost ready to take the long sleeves off already. <laughs> I would say it's probably about, I don't know, I haven't even looked, 55 degrees or so. It's nice to sit out here without a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Long sleeve is still necessary, but jacket. So. We got the speaker today. We're going to be able to play some music while we work today. <laughs> And I got a plan. I know that we can't play regular music during recording times while we're uh, working and stuff. But I've got a plan. You'll have to wait until the next Drifting Dreamers 5 video will be out tomorrow. Probably. Hopefully it'll be out tomorrow. It, uh, Man, it's going to be a little bit interesting. <laughs> a little bit different than normal. At least that's my plan. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you should be seeing uh, us out here working, though, right? That's going to be the next video. Clearing the land. I, I don't know. So. Let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. You ready to get to work? I'm ready. Let's get to work, guys. We're going to go ahead and cut it loose. We hope you have an amazing rest of your Thursday. It is Thursday, yes? Yes. You know I never know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on dreaming, guys. We're out here working. This is our dream. Dreams come true as long as you want to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's working towards a homestead and yeah. making it better. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Whenever, I feel like whenever I can laugh and joke around and not have to be all serious and, and type, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like work. So it's not like, oh, time to go to work. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, time to get to work. And I'm Life ready to get to it. Life is too short to be serious all the time. You remember what a joker says. Why so serious? <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Why so serious? <laughs>